me know when y'all are ready to uh, tell everybody. <coughs> First, thank you for coming. Uh, appreciate it on such short notice. Uh, we had an officer-involved shooting incident that occurred early this morning. I'm going to read a statement. Um, I, I will take some questions, but I would offer that I will be limited in what I can disclose due to the nature of this particular type of an investigation. At approximately 1.05 a.m. Central Time this morning, the Sheriff's Office received a 911 call from a motorist in the area near the intersections of Lee Roads 240 and 206 in the Salem community. The location is commonly known as Moffitt's Mill on the Little Uchi Creek. The caller stated that they had observed a man with a gun near the roadway. Deputies were dispatched to the area and encountered a male armed with a shotgun standing near the roadway. Deputies immediately issued verbal commands to the man to put the weapon down. The man continued to hold the weapon and racked the action on the weapon to chamber a round. As additional deputies arrived, attempts to get the man to put the weapon down continued by method of verbal commands. Deputies checked the registration of a vehicle located nearby and contacted the registered owner who confirmed ownership of the vehicle and advised her son was driving the vehicle and provided his description, which matched the male with the shotgun. She also advised Sheriff's 911 dispatchers that her son suffered from mental health issues. A trained negotiator with the Opelika Police Department responded to the scene and engaged in the efforts to communicate with the male while obtaining information from his mother. The male continued to hold the shotgun and on occasion would point it in the general direction of law enforcement officers. Efforts continued to get the male to place the weapon down until a point at approximately an hour and 40 minutes into the incident when the male pointed the weapon directly at law enforcement officers, resulting in officers firing several rounds at the male. An ambulance staged in the area responded, transported the male to Piedmont Regional Hospital with police escort. Efforts to treat the male for gunshot wounds were not successful, and he succumbed to his wounds. At the request of the Sheriff of Lee County, Jay Jones, the State Bureau of Investigation Division of Aaliyah has assumed the investigation into the officer-involved shooting. Three <laughs> Lee County Sheriff's deputies have been placed on administrative leave, as is protocol in these types of circumstances. I will take some questions, and again, uh, bear in mind that uh, I will be somewhat limited in my response uh, due to the nature of this investigation. Yes, um, you said the individual had a mental illness, so do you guys know what type of mental illness he may have had? Uh, that's not determined at this time. Uh, and again, we're going to defer to the investigation being conducted by uh, State Bureau of Investigation. Okay, and then uh, you said the officers are administrative. Is that paid? Um, administrative leave or leave for now? It is paid administrative leave, yes ma'am. Was the victim known to your agency before this incident? We're looking into that at this, this point in time, uh, but uh, that has not been uh, conclusively determined at this point. Were, are you satisfied with what you're hearing from the scene about as far as attempts to de-escalate the situation? Based on the information I have at this time, I, I believe that uh, there were extensive efforts uh, expended uh, or undertaken to communicate with this individual uh, prior to the, the shooting taking place. Uh, I can offer one additional thing, uh, the age of this individual, 20 years old. And we're unable to have their names? No ma'am, not at this time. I would offer this uh, immediately after the shooting took place. Uh, deputies on the scene uh, began immediate uh, efforts uh, from a medical standpoint uh, to treat the individual. Um, as the situation extended over a period of time, as indicated, uh, efforts were put in place to have an ambulance close to the area where the incident was occurring to ensure that, uh, if needed, immediate medical response could, could be obtained. 